should you put your kid on Adderall? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, you should not. And what that is, is it's a medication for ADHD, which is a mental disorder that is overactivity. There's a much stronger definition, but that's just a quick one for this video. And basically, you know, there's a lot of kids out there that are active, so their parents put them on medication to you know, sedate them out, to calm them down. And I would like to talk about in this video how it is never a good idea to put your kid on Adderall. I mean, of course there's some cases, there's some cases, but very few people have the situation where they need that to calm their overactivity. And, you know, children, especially the little dudes, are very active. It's just part of being a kid. You like to play, they like to you know, go out there and chase stuff, which is nice. And that's just part of being young. And a lot of parents see that and think they have ADHD. And that really messes with their body chemistry, their chi flow. And it just doesn't help them later on in the future. Okay? It's not... I'm sure if you're thinking about it, 90% of the time, I'm safe to say, for most of you, the answer is you should steer clear. Yeah, When they're older... They're 18, they can make up their own decision if they need it or not, but it's best and healthier to say no, all right? And I'm going to speak from some uh, personal things with my life. You know, I was a, a, a devil growing up. I, I was in trouble all the time in middle school and even high school. I was an absolute demon of a kid. And the school literally emailed my parents. They gave them a direct message saying, ADHD they said that and you know even if I had it or even if I didn't it's still my parents said no they said he can wait till he's 18 to see if he needs it or not so at first I was like hey who cares you know but so I didn't get any of it right and then now I'm going on to be a pilot with the FAA and to get a first class medical for uh, airlines you have to not have ADHD or it's six years after you get off and you have to pay thousands of dollars for a test, right? So I could have I could have still got my second class and worked a lot smaller jobs, but to get the you know the good pay, the really part where I'm going for, I would have to spend thousands of dollars and wait multiple years to uh, get the first class medical. And that's true for the military as well. Uh, it, it's safe to just steer clear and wait for the kid to make their own decision, you know? Because if they want to you know, fly a plane or join the military, it can totally limit their life. It can limit their options. And I just, you know, it's better to steer clear. Yeah, I'm saying that right now. And if you weren't up at 4 a.m. screaming at your monitor playing video games as a kid, you didn't have a proper childhood. That's what kids do. They're very active. You know, they like to play. They like to have fun. And them staying up and being loud and is just part of being a kid. And let's say, you know, your kid's having trouble at school. You know, bad behavior. Uh, I had bad behavior. And it's just best to, you know, go to cyber school. That's actually what I did. I actually had too much trouble at school. So I graduated with cyber school. And I passed. I did everything all right. And... The school isn't a benchmark of how healthy your kid is. You know, some people just don't do well at school. You know, some people are more active, don't like to sit in a classroom all day. And school is not a benchmark. So even if your kid's having trouble with school, it's best to try out cyber school, you know, or go to a different school or try homeschooling and maybe working on better habits because, you know, it's just not healthy. And if your kid can go on without it, it's best to do that. 